Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. All praises to Allah, we send peace and salutations upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. It is time for uh, this morning message for today. And the morning message for today, inshallah, we're going to be encouraged to give sadaqah, to spend fi sabilillah. And we will hear some beautiful words and some updates from our dear brother Ismail Panayotu. He is uh, one of the representatives of Africa Muslim Agency joining me here in the studio. Assalamu alaikum, Ismail. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How was the traffic when you came in here? Oh, subhanallah. We can only praise Allah and everything is for a reason. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, accept from you, and may Allah azza wa reward you for all the, the, the beautiful efforts and how you organize the work right there at uh, mm. Africa Muslim mm. Agency. So many countries, mashallah. Mm. Can you just remind us of the countries Africa Muslim Agency is serving and also the last updates uh, the, this week? SubhanAllah, 14 different countries. Allah. Malawi, Mozambique, and Africa, South Africa, Lebanon, Palestine, uh, Rohingya, all of these different countries, subhanAllah, that are facing uh, you know, dire consequences and or need, rather, subhanAllah. So our, our, our winter warmth campaign, as we spoke mm. about in previous um, weeks, is currently underway and is still underway and in fact this morning the wind was blowing so yes. much subhanallah yes. it was, Night, subhanallah. It was, it mm. was quite uh, scary subhanallah yes. and then i just thought to myself the window is rattling and the cold is coming through the, the, the imagine window people imagine the people on the streets subhanallah. ajib ajib so it just reminded me and reminded all of us that our efforts need to be even more intensified to to help the people struggling on the streets. Yes. So Alhamdulillah, our winter warmth distribution took place earlier in the in the in the past weeks. Uh, our volunteers were packing, uh, you know, hampers over 200 hampers that we will be distributing in in the on the west coast this this mm. weekend, inshallah. When, when we see them in the streets, uh, brother Ismail, in the street, so many homeless people. Sometimes they sleep on this, and sometimes they die. By the mm. way, sometimes they even pass away on the streets because of the cold. Is there any approximate numbers to to those people? that needs your support. I believe you distributed so many mm. uh, winter warmth, uh, uh, w w winter uh, uh, blankets, but uh, is, does it only contain blankets or there's any other supports that you give to those people? So there's a blanket and there's a winter pack. So mm. in the winter pack, there is uh, gloves, there's uh, beanie, uh, stockings, you know, scarves, uh, because people also need this, not just the blanket. Mm. And in terms of what you said about the numbers, there are thousands and thousands yeah, and course. thousands yeah. of people. Mm -hmm. And of course, the need is there all across uh, the world, not just in Africa, in South Africa. Yes, true. So, so. And, and, and Allah Azza wa Jal will question us if mm -hmm. we have the ability to support them and we don't support them. Exactly. And there's a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sallam, sallam. He says, Ma bi man bata shab'anan wa jarhu ila jawarihi jaya wa huwa ya'lam. He said, he, he is not a believer in me. Rasulullah said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that person who sleeps full while his neighbor next to him is hungry and he knows about his situation. Mm. So the condition here is knowing. Mm. Now we know there are thousands of people who do not have any shelter, who are homeless, who don't have any blankets at all. And so it's our duty to support those people with even 50 rand, 100 rand, whatever. how much is the, the, the that uh, package? It is 150. 150 rand. Mm. SubhanAllah, so, well, be part of that, ikhwa, inshallah. Be part of supporting them. At least once one person. We support that 150 is not even equivalent to a meal or something. Mm. Let's inshallah support and be part of that. May Allah accept. Mm -hmm. So tell me uh, about uh, uh, this campaign. Which countries you said? And are we focusing also on South Africa as well? So actually, with the window warmth campaign is mainly, mainly focusing mm. on South Africa because it ties in with the Empower SA campaign that is sort of all year round, but it, uh, at this time specifically in the, the cold of winter, um, it's, we speak about empowering communities, empowering South Africa, mm. and uh, the whole concept of this Empower SA campaign is to help and dignify people. And like you said, we need to feel an urge within ourselves that Sorry. we need to help other people Sorry. because they are struggling and mm. Allah has placed us in this position for a reason, of course. True. And Allah has, has placed us and you know, this also reminds me of, of, of a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he says, you know, look at those below, you're not those above you. Sahih. So that you may not look down on the favors of Allah. 
Mm. You know, so that because if you look at someone above you or someone who has more than you, then you're going to just be wanting to have that. But if you look at those who have less than you, those who do not have a house, those who do not have blankets, those who do not, you know, maybe have a car, then it will make you more grateful and more uh, thankful for the blessings of Allah. And at so, the same time, it will remind you that your duty as a believer, one of your pillars of your deen is to help other people. Mm-hmm. Subhanallah. Now, now coming to, to the Qurbani, and now we spoke about the blankets and uh, winter jackets, etc. But the Qurbani also, people need food as well. Tell me about uh, what, what you're preparing uh, and which countries are going to have this, the, the Qurbani distribution, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, African Muslims Agency is operating in 14 different countries for Qurbani, uh, for the season of Qurbani, as we hear the day of Hajj and you know, Eid al Adha is close by. Uh, we're preparing, and, and the teams have been preparing across uh, those different countries. And, uh, and I think it's very important to highlight, because uh, I just got a feedback report in the week of some of our teams in Mozambique especially, um, because I'm sure you would have known about the Cyclone Freddy. It yes. was, a, it was a, a flood, a very devastating flood. And because of that, it, it hobbled the process of, you know, the, distribu- the, 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 the transport of the, of the Qurbani. And uh, it's very interesting to, to, to see that our teams will actually, you know, would carry the animals on their back and, and on bicycles because of the flood. So that is very, uh, you know, amazing. The efforts that our teams have, have gone through just to, to you know, to, to, to deliver this to the respective communities. Mm-hmm. And so, so how do you choose them? How do you choose the recipients of the of the So program? we partner with the local organizations mm-hmm. and the local contacts in the area. And in that way, we can broaden, broaden it. You know, we can see who is most in need. And especially part of Africa Muslims Agency's uh, campaigns is um, we always want to focus on looking at the people who are untouched, the communities mm-hmm. are untouched. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no point of us going to a community where everybody's uh, giving help, where True. all the relief is. Sorry, we want to go sorry. to the untouched areas where there's no meat, where there's no, there's no support. Where there's no support, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm. Do, do you distribute the food uh, fresh or it's cooked for, uh, meat? So, uh, according, following the Sunnah of, of you know Salamah, of uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we we take the meat um, raw, not cooked, uh, mm. because of the tradition, because of the, the Islamic teaching, uh, because of um, you know the, the spirit of Eid al-Adha, and then you know the the communities can cook it themselves and shall distribute uh, amongst their communities. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, uh, I believe Youth Day is taking place uh, this week, on the 16th. And uh, what Africa Muslim Agency has from plans for this uh, for this day? So, uh, yes, Friday, tomorrow, inshallah. Yeah. Um, in Joburg and Durban, uh, our volunteer teams are visiting, you know, old age at home, um, a youth care center. But just here in Cape Town, alhamdulillah, we've put together a team um, where we will be a team of 30 volunteers we will be going into a, an area called Coxtienfontein and that is just maybe 15 minutes from here. It's a, you know, it's a very uh, drug infested gangsterism, full of gangsterism you know, in this area. And part of our, our program for Youth Day is to empower the youth, to educate them, to inspire them. And how we do this is uh, we want to you know, prepare some hot dogs you know, to make it nice for the mm-hmm. young children because this is something you know, whenever we have celebrations for our young children or whatever, uh, you know, a hot dog is something that is normal. But for people like this in Kaukstein Fontaine, who do not have this as a norm, uh, it's something that is very special towards them, and special for them. And so that's the point of our Youth Day program, inshallah, to make it special for the youth, to educate them, to inspire mm-hmm. them, to, to engage in some activities with them, mm-hmm. and, you know, to, to get the message out there. Inshallah, inshallah. All the best and all the success. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you success, and may Allah accept all your efforts. And may Allah help you, inshallah, through uh, so many of the youth who will join you, inshallah. Allahumma ameen. And may you have so many volunteers as well. I believe you always Amen. have need, need, need more volunteers to join. May Allah Azza wa Jal accept from all of you. Allahumma ameen, ya Rabbil Ameen. Shukran Ismail for joining us this morning. Exactly. As usual, barakallah feek. Allah bless you, Ya Rabbi. All right, uh, with that, we came to the end of the segment of our program. We're going to be taking a short break. We'll come back after the break, inshallah.